Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and I hope you in, are having a wonderful day today. Hey, guess what we got today, huh? Yeah, we're gonna look at some more Kararamas. Yeah, uh, we got some different stuff here, some same stuff there. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, Kararama is a Hungwell owned brand. Uh, Hungwell's is uh, uh, the parent company and uh, it, it has established oh, back in 1970 is when uh, Hungwell was established and then they uh, brought online the Kararama uh, lineup. And uh, they go all the way from uh, 172nd scale all the way up to 125th scale, which I don't, I do not have a Kararama 125th scale, but uh, that that's to be coming, right? All right. So uh, in 1970 they started out, and uh, then they um, in 1997 they expanded and they started uh, doing a lot more. Now, interestingly enough, I, I, I went on Google there and, and found uh, Wikipedia there about uh, Kararama and kind of added some more information on uh, just exactly what Kararama is and what the dynamics between uh, Hongwell, which is out of Hong Kong, China, and uh, Oxford. So Kararama is, uh, like I say, owned by the Hongwell Toys Limited. And uh, they're out of Hong Kong, China, obviously. Uh, but they do have some distributors uh, in the North America. North America, M&J Toys is over in California. And then Europe, there's uh, Oxford Diecast Limited in uh, Swansea, Swansea. Uh, UK, and then there's over in Germany. Then they have a Scandinavian uh, branch in Sweden, and then Asian Pacific, they have South Korea and Indonesia. So, Kararama is an established brand manufactured on its own production, uh, covering several scales. And like I say, 172nd scale, all the way up to 125th scale, 24th scale, excuse me. I'm gonna just take a peek here. I don't. I don't think this gives me a scale, but this is this is a pretty big one. I think this is a one forty-third uh, scale here, but uh, we're gonna take a look at that later. Um, but anyway, Oxford Diecast has worked with Kamara, uh, Kara, Kara, Kararama for many years, and Kararama coated products are designed and uh, have been. Uh, developed by Oxford, so there there is two uh, different uh, kind of development teams that work for the Kararama name. So anyway, let's take a look at what I got here. Uh, some of these you might recognize. Uh, I did an unboxing video, and I don't know if I can tag that up here, or we we'll just have to wait till the end of the video. But I have two of these. Uh, I believe they're they're the same thing. Uh, because you know the packaging looks the same but anyway um, they do have Kararama on the bottom of them I'm gonna take this one out and this is a nice little Freelander and uh, like I say we've uh, had uh, a, a review or a look at this when I unboxed it I bought one of these from eBay and uh, just a really unique model and uh, uh, now this one has LRF160 on the back there. Beautiful little model. I, I really like these. Car, Kararama is a premium, I, I think, a premium uh, um, toy line. And so here we go. This is the Kararama. I've got two on the card here. A little bit different uh, packaging. This, I believe, came in a box or, or um, maybe a uh, gift set. They do a lot of different packaging, just like Hot Wheels. Uh, you know, they put uh, a lot of things together. So this, this could have been out of a two-pack or a five-pack or something like that. Uh, 
but these are the same car per se um, and uh, sorry for the glare there on that packaging there but uh, as you can see they're they're the same color and everything the interesting point though is that this one in the package both of them uh, read that they have this uh, different license plate on them so I don't know if that's kind of the way they kind of uh, make sure that they keep track of who's what and such and so forth so these are are the same are the same I don't know if we can really get in there and take a look without having a glare there can we get in on that oh yeah there we go what is that S something s p t with uh what is that 500 I can't even see it I'm asking you to see it and I can't even see it 8,007 is the number on that. 6,007. 8,007? But anyway, so, uh, and they do do that. They they do do that. They, uh, Kararama does uh, change the license plates, so then, uh, oh, you know what? We can take a look at the front. <laughs> that, that, that might be a little bit clearer. I'm not sure. Let's see if the camera can focus on that one, huh? Oh, come on. It's a hard day today. Yep, there it is. Yep, SPT. I'm like at the eye doctor here. <laughs> Cheese balls. But I still can't see. Is that 60807? But anyway, just a beautiful, beautiful little car. I, I really enjoy these. And like I say, I like to I, I do like to collect on the package. So uh, these were eBay purchases. Uh, I think I bought them separately. And uh, yeah, so they're they're pretty neat. We'll take a look at the back here, just so you can, uh, you know, take pause the video and uh, read that. I, I believe uh, what is that In English there? I don't know what what is that Italian, Deutsch, Fran French, and uh, Netherlands. I'm not sure. Well, that that'd be Great Britain. I don't know what that E is for. Huh. What language would that be? I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. So that's a nice little uh, thing we've kind of seen before, but you hadn't seen these. So I wanted to show you uh, that uh, they kind of relate to this one here that we uh, did a video on earlier. All right, the next thing is, uh, here's another little one that I, I did an unboxing on too. And, uh, you, you know, if you go and uh, look at the unboxing videos at the end, you can see that I picked this one up. And uh, this is a little Range Rover Police in a 4.6 HSE. A uh, little bit, it's different than this one. Uh, this is an older older model. Uh, this is a little bit newer one. It's got the uh, shark gills on the side there. But uh, I, I believe it's the same. It's the uh, 170 second scale. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. That's nice to have a loose one. But this one I had bought, I'm not really sure where I got this one, but uh, it's got a nice little silver Range Rover there with a horse trailer, and we got a pony. Look at that, we got a pony. But uh, let's take a look at the uh, underside. Not suitable for children under three. Yeah, there you go. And uh, like I say, boy, I'm not sure what all, yeah, no, it's Spanish. Espanol. I'm, I'm getting a lesson in, uh, oh, here, I know this one. Yeah, that, that's Chinese right there. <laughs> but as you see, this is uh, Hongwell Toys Limited. And, uh, you know, they've got the copyrights for the uh, uh, different things. I think I, I might have paid that much for this one. But uh, I, think, I think this is another eBay purchase. I'm not really sure. Kind of a plain... Jane packaging the bottom is the only thing that's got uh, anything here you go this is uh, some more um, let's see if we can get this kind of in focus here here's the the end that's got some more uh, oh yeah there's many different languages freewheeling die cast metal and plastic vehicle there you go there you go so really kind of really kind of cool I like that I don't know that horse trailer seems a little bit big for that uh, Range Rover, but uh, okay. <laughs> uh, very nice model there, a lot of details in it. 
you can see that the front has got a um, uh, lens details. Uh, the back, not so much lens detail. That's just painted on there, but a nice tan interior there. And uh, very nice. So that's a 72nd scale. And now I have this one here. And like I say, I think this one is going to be more of a... Um, uh, yeah, I probably paid that too. Uh, this is probably 143rd scale. And Rescue, uh, Junior Rescues. Um, oh, this, this doesn't go with this. Uh, this is a Corgi. <laughs> this doesn't... No, it's a Carrama. Yeah, it's a Carrama. Uh, they kind of took a spin off of Corgi does a uh, uh, Junior Rescue as well, don't they? Or uh, am I thinking something else? But anyway, this, this, uh, no, this was a whole different brand from, uh, uh, Kararama. And the, the Junior Rescue mainly it had to do with, um, uh, fire and, uh, police and construction and that more, more of a service, uh, oriented, um, vehicles. And, uh, they would be by themselves or they'd be like this here in a trailer and stuff like that. I don't know why I was thinking Corgi. But anyway, so yeah, very, very uh, similar packaging. Uh, we just take a look here at some of the things. Yeah, see all the uh, different vehicles that uh, they do make uh, that Corgi. They, oh, now I got that stuck in my tongue. <laughs> the, the Juniors, Junior Rescues. So yeah, just a really neat thing. These are kind of just kind of oddballs that I had, but they're still all Carrama things. And uh, very, very interesting. I like that. Now, I've got one more here um, that uh, I acquired from a good friend of mine. He's uh, over in Ireland, Paulie Curtis, I believe is his last name. No, I, don't, I just call him Paulie. I don't ever say his last name. But I believe that this is a Carrama. And I believe this is an Oxford. Now, with my friend Gary Norman over there, um, I, I, I make that statement because I've recognized that WXX928, and uh, this just screams Cararama with the wheels and uh, stuff like that. It's got nice features, opening doors on it. Uh, if I could get my uh, fingers to open up the doors here. But just a nice little model. The top is plastic, uh, but everything else is, the, you know, the body is metal. The base is plastic, but got a really nice set of wheels on there. Uh, it is, uh, I think, two, two screws there. Yeah, one right behind the uh, axle there and one on the tail end. But just a really nice model. I believe this back end opens up too, if I could... Uh, get in there and open it up but it's just I just love the details to this and that's the other reason why I think this is a Carrama you can see you know they just a you know there's a backup light to it the nice details with the galvanized end caps to it uh, nice you know bumperettes and the uh, piddle hitch there you know a separate piece for the uh, leaf springs and the uh, exhaust just very nice so what do you think? Do you think that's a Kararama? I, I believe it is. I believe it is. Beautiful little model. I, I, Paul, I thank you very much for, for uh, then this has been a couple of years ago that he gave me this. So really kind of cool. I like that. Really kind of cool. So, all right. Well, that's going to be about it. That's what I got. Another Kararama um, bonanza for you. And uh, just, uh, if you like these videos, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and, and share. If you like seeing these things and uh, seeing things that maybe you haven't never seen before, awesome. That's what this is all about. Just showing you what I've got and hopefully you can share what you've got. And uh, to do that, head on over to Facebook. I got a link down below to the Facebook page, Roverland. And even on Instagram, Roverland Channel. All right, I'm going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me on this Kararama diorama. <laughs> All right, remember, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great Rover Day, guys.